Welcome to World Celebrity Junction, where we delve into the lives of extraordinary individuals who have left an indelible mark on our world. Today, we journey through the life and career of one of the most iconic figures in music history, the King of Pop, Michael Jackson. Michael Joseph Jackson, August 29, 1958 to June 25, 2009, was an American singer, songwriter, dancer, and philanthropist. Known as the King of Pop, he is regarded as one of the most significant cultural figures of the 20th century. During his four-decade career, his contributions to music, dance, and fashion, along with his publicized personal life, made him a global figure in popular culture. Jackson influenced artists across many music genres. Through stage and video performances, he popularized complicated street dance moves such as the moonwalk, which he named, as well as the robot. The eighth child of the Jackson family, Jackson made his public debut in 1964 with his older brothers Jackie, Tito, Jermaine, and Marlon as a member of the Jackson Five, later known as the Jacksons. Jackson began his solo career in 1971 while at Motown Records. He became a solo star with his 1979 album Off the Wall. His music videos, including those for Beat It, Billie Jean, and Thriller from his 1982 album Thriller, are credited with breaking racial barriers and transforming the medium into an art form and promotional tool. He helped propel the success of MTV and continued to innovate with the videos for his subsequent albums, Bad, 1987, Dangerous, 1991, History, Past, Present, and Future, Book Eye, 1995, and Invincible, 2001. Thriller became the best-selling album of all time. While Bad was the first album to produce five U.S. Billboard Hot 100 number one singles. From the late 1980s, Jackson became a figure of controversy and speculation due to his changing appearance, relationships, behavior, and lifestyle. In 1993, he was accused of sexually abusing the child of a family friend. The lawsuit was settled out of civil court. Jackson was not indicted due to lack of evidence. In 2005, he was tried and acquitted of further child sexual abuse allegations and several other charges. The FBI found no evidence of criminal conduct by Jackson in either case. In 2009, while he was preparing for a series of comeback concerts, this is it, Jackson died from an overdose of propofol administered by his personal physician, Conrad Murray, who was convicted in 2011 of involuntary manslaughter for his involvement in Jackson's death. His death triggered reactions around the world creating unprecedented surges of internet traffic and a spike in sales of his music. Jackson's televised memorial service, held at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, was estimated to have been viewed by more than 2.5 billion people. Jackson is one of the best-selling music artists of all time, with sales estimated around 500 million records worldwide. He had 13 Billboard Hot 100 number 1 singles, fourth highest of any artist in the Hot 100 era, and was the first artist to have a top 10 single on the Billboard Hot 100 in five different decades. His honors include 15 Grammy Awards, six Brit Awards, a Golden Globe Award, and 39 Guinness World Records, including the most successful entertainer of all time. Jackson's inductions include the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, twice, the Vocal Group Hall of Fame, the Songwriters Hall of Fame, the Dance Hall of Fame, making him the only recording artist to be inducted, in the Rhythm and Blues Music Hall of Fame. Death. On June 25, 2009, less than three weeks before his concert residency was due to begin in London, with all concerts sold out, Jackson died from cardiac arrest caused by a propofol and benzodiazepine overdose. Conrad Murray, his personal physician, had given Jackson various medications to help him sleep at his rented mansion in Holmby Hills, Los Angeles. Paramedics received a 911 call at 12.22 p.m. Pacific Time. 1922 Universal Time Coordinated, and arrived three minutes later. Jackson was not breathing and CPR was performed. Resuscitation efforts continued en route to Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center, and for more than an hour after Jackson's arrival there, but were unsuccessful, and Jackson was pronounced dead at 2.26 p.m. Pacific Time, 2126 Universal Time Coordinated. Life and Career Michael Joseph Jackson was born in Gary, Indiana on August 29, 1958. He was the eighth of ten children in the Jackson family, a working-class African-American family living in a two-bedroom house on Jackson Street. His mother, Catherine Esther Jackson, played clarinet and piano, 
had aspired to be a country and western performer and worked part-time at Sears. She was a Jehovah's Witness. His father, Joseph Walter, Joe Jackson, a former boxer, was a crane operator at U.S. Steel and played guitar with a local rhythm and blues band, the Falcons, to supplement the family's income. Joe's great-grandfather, July Jack Gale, was a U.S. Army scout. Family lore held that he was also a Native American medicine man. Michael grew up with three sisters, Rebby, Latoya, and Janet, and five brothers, Jackie, Tito, Jermaine, Marlon, and Randy. A sixth brother, Marlon's twin Brandon, died shortly after birth. The Jackson Five recorded several songs for a Gary record label, Steeltown Records. Their first single, Big Boy, was released in 1968. Bobby Taylor of Bobby Taylor and the Vancouver's brought the Jackson Five to Motown after they opened for Taylor at Chicago's Regal Theater in 1968. Taylor produced some of their early Motown recordings, including a version of Who's Lovin' to You. After signing with Motown, the Jackson family relocated to Los Angeles. In 1969, Motown executives decided Diana Ross should introduce the Jackson Five to the public, partly to bolster her career in television, sending off what was considered Motown's last product of its production line. The Jackson Five made their first television appearance in 1969 in the Miss Black America pageant, performing a cover of It's Your Thing. Rolling Stone later described the young Michael as a prodigy with overwhelming musical gifts who quickly emerged as the main draw and lead singer. The Jackson Five left Motown in 1975, signing with Epic Records and renaming themselves the Jacksons. Their younger brother Randy joined the band around this time. Jermaine stayed with Motown and pursued a solo career. The Jacksons continued to tour internationally and released six more albums between 1976 and 1984. Jackson's fifth solo album, Off the Wall, 1979, established him as a solo performer and helped him move from the bubblegum pop of his youth to more complex sounds. It produced four top ten entries in the U.S., Off the Wall, She's Out of My Life, and the chart-topping singles Don't Stop, Till You Get Enough, and Rock With You. The album reached number three on the U.S. Billboard 200 and sold over 20 million copies worldwide. In 1980, Jackson won three American Music Awards for his solo work, Favorite Soul Slash R and B Album, Favorite Soul Slash R and B Male Artist, and Favorite Soul Slash R and B Single for Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. He also won a Grammy Award for Best Male R&B Vocal Performance for 1979 with Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. In 1981, Jackson was the American Music Awards winner for Favorite Soul Slash R and B Album and Favorite Soul Slash R and B Male Artist. Jackson felt Off the Wall should have made a bigger impact and was determined to exceed expectations with his next release. In 1980, he secured the highest royalty rate in the music industry, 37% of wholesale album profit. After the trial, Jackson became reclusive. In June 2005, he moved to Bahrain as a guest of Sheikh Abdullah. In early 2006, it was announced that Jackson had signed a contract with a Bahrain startup, Two Seas Records. Nothing came of the deal, and the Two Seas CEO, Guy Holmes, later said it was never finalized. Holmes also found that Jackson was on the verge of bankruptcy and was involved in 47 ongoing lawsuits. By September 2006, Jackson was no longer affiliated with two C's.